about mi one mile away from the market square in Novokorchen, direction east, there is a Jewish cemetery in the middle of the fields. Almost impossible to be recognized with no access road. The closest main road towards Lublin is in the distance of about half a mile. This cemetery is only the new Jewish cemetery, which was started in mid 1700s and served the Jewish community up until World War II. During World War II, in all of such little locations, the Jewish cemeteries were very often the first ones to suffer the complete destruction. The German Nazis will be forcing either the Jews from the ghetto or the local population into regular destruction of stones, chopping off the upper half-rounded pieces of a matzavot and using the rectangular material for road construction, regulation of rivers, uh, carving and many other public works. We are still reclaiming many of such stones from roading system in those small places. After the war, the cemetery was completely neglected and, neglected and abandoned. For a certain time period, there are traces of some parts of the cemetery being blown over. Up until the 80s and 90s. In the 80s and 90s, when the first associations of survivors started to take interest, and actually they could for the first time enter into the post-communist Poland, things started to change. Thanks to the involvement of the Gabay family, who originated from Novokorchen, this fencing was made, and fencing of a cemetery is a very important mitzvah. And also, at least symbolic graves were established on the supposedly place of burial of the one of the dynasties of local rabbis, the Epsteins. And those are the symbolic graves. Unfortunately, the letters got washed away within the last 30 years. But uh, those are the symbolic graves for Josef Baruch Epstein, Kalonimus Kalman Epstein, and Mayer Epstein. 